Hello, all you wonderful people, and welcome to another What's in the Vault. Today, we will be looking at some more music CDs. <laughs> Just kind of pick these out at random. So, in no particular order, this is what they are going to be. <laughs> First up, we have definitely early 2000s, I think. Maybe at the very end of the 90s. Avril Lavigne. Let go. This was her first CD. Um, not my favorite of her CDs, but it's actually probably the one I listen to the least out of the ones that I own of hers. This includes her, um, <laughs> well probably the main ones you heard from this CD are Complicated, Skater Boy, um, I'm With You, and probably on a lower scale, you might have heard Losing Grip as well. She is one of my favorite uh, solo artists as far as it, as far as this genre of music goes. Did not really have too much more to say on this one. It will be like that kind of probably for a lot of them. Unless I'm really familiar with the um, artist. <laughs> Next. We have Breakin' Benjamin, We Are Not Alone. Um, this is more of like a kind of 
grunge alternative rock band. Reason I randomly just kind of grabbed this for this video, well, it was written. I just kind of went through what I had and grabbed what first popped in my mind. The reason this popped in my mind is because this is a CD I listened to. One of them CDs I've listened to over and over and over. So I know the CD rather well. As far as the hits on here, you have So Cold, Firefly was a really big one, uh, that song was in a lot of sports slash wrestling games, so you might have heard that in passing. Uh, I think them were the only hits off the CD. I'm not too sure. Because I don't want to say anything else because they might just be a song that I'm very familiar with just from listening to the CD over and over. None of these CDs are from when I owned them when I was a teenager or younger. All of these I bought within the last year or year and a half or so. I'm kind of a good, this feels like it's a good rhythm of tapping. Just enough movement with the case. But yeah, <laughs> moving on. Well, so in this sequel of a music CD video, I have Britney Spears' second album. I believe she was in my first video, but I also had her second album too when I was a teenager. Singles off of this one are Oops, I did it again. Stronger. Ah, lucky. And I believe that's it. I'm not sure if Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know was a hit single or not. A lot of times, like I said, can't really remember fully because I'm used to listening to the songs on this CD because it was one I listened to over and over. But I know officially the first three I listed were her hits from the CD.
next we have a <coughs> Bush with their albums 16 stone <coughs> now they actually had quite a few hits from the CD or maybe it wasn't hits but the ones that I actually heard on the radio everything's then little things come down and machine head so this was kind of a mid 90s grunge band Grun grunge rock band CDs because this CD I picked up because it was the one that I actually knew all their songs on there there I don't know what they did outside them songs that I really mentioned though I haven't actually listened to this well I have listened to the whole CD just haven't listened to it enough only like once so not enough to memorize the songs. This this one I just kind of picked up due to just hearing them songs on the radio. Next, going back to the more pop side of, of music, we have Savage Garden. <laughs> so they've had at least, I recall, three like hits slash music videos or if you want to call them hits but we have to the moon and back I want you truly manly deeply this came out in 1997 So this was kind of a, obviously a duo singing band where basically kind of along the lines when kind of boy bands were big and stuff. So this band stuck out in that regard. Obviously this, this right here in the corner was already written on there when I bought the CD. Don't know what it was for. One, three, five, nine. 
it's either n46 or 246 or nh6. Who really knows? Again, I've only listened to like the about 75% of the CD probably, and that was just once outside of knowing the songs that I know. <laughs> I think the light is reflecting off my CD case, and my cat was trying to chase the light on the wall. So if you heard scratching, that's what it was. Oh, it's a little pamphlet. Well, not pamphlet, but like a little advertisement thing. the CDs have to be facing up. without this band, I guess. <laughs> we have Spice Girls with their album Spice. This has their, well, singles Wannabe which everyone should probably already know that song by now. <laughs> and on one of the lower ends that I did not know. So when I picked up this CD, I only remembered Wannabe. I didn't realize in passing I've heard another song from this album on the radio. And that song is Say You'll Be There. It was one of them few moments that come around where you just realize, hey, I've heard this before. <laughs> and it just kind of surprised me because I wasn't expecting to really know any other song off this album. listened to the album a few times going to work. Um, I roughly got a little bit kind of a feel for some of the other songs to where when I listen to them I actually can kind of, well, know them in a sense. I haven't really got the whole CD memorized though a lot of music to try to memorize so a lot of times if I just hear something that I like the sound of that's what I will skip to on a CD Uh, 
so this city will not stay in the, the spot. Okay, th this band is completely awesome. Both uh, singing vocals and musical wise. This is Evanescence and with their album Fallen. Um, some of their hits bring me to life, my immortal, and I think to a lesser extent, maybe this is just something that kind of was catchy enough for me that I recognize from the CD, but maybe going under, I'm not really sure on that. That just might be something I like the sound of on the CD. and. Might have mixed it up to hear it on the radio. But she has a great singing voice. I think her name is Amy Lee, I think, maybe. Not fully positive about that. advertisements for gear m merchandise <laughs> merchandise This is also, I guess, more towards the rock, rock side of the genre as well. might be the 80s but nine inch nails party hate machine pretty sure this is the 80s uh, it's not gonna tell me on the case okay cool how it's supposed to be but they got it printed on here weirdly so realistically the only song I know off of this is head like a hole this is <coughs> this is a uh, late 80s early 90s kind of heavy metal band
see if this will tell me. So, yeah, 1989. Let's see if I can. Don't know if I can get a clear picture without. Yeah, can't really read it. I guess I'm sharing my computer screen plenty though. All right, so we have a couple more left. So for a first time introduction on from the vault, <laughs> well, I now have a country CD. Shania Twain, come on over. So growing up, basically, um, the only music I was really exposed exposed to mostly was country because that's kind of what my mother listened to. So it's pretty much kind of what I listened to until, well, middle school when I changed it up a bit and tried listening to different stuff. But this was one of the first CDs I've ever had. So it got played a lot. Even picking this up just recently, about a month or two ago, I could still remember all the songs like it, like I knew them. So that's a pretty nice feeling. She had a few hits off of this. Man, I feel like a woman. Don't be stupid. You're still the one. Honey, I'm home. That don't impress me much. And I believe that's it. She was a pretty successful country star. I mean, she had like five hits off of one CD, so. <laughs> she obviously was doing something right. The feeling of this one. Like the CDs in there sturdy enough, even with me tapping it. Kind of has a really good feeling to it. Not too wobbly. Finally, number the number 10 item from this little pick and choose. 
another sequel from the first video. So we have the next album and from the band TLC. I did their second album in my first video. The hits from this one is, at least to my knowledge, No Scrubs, and I'm Pretty. Them are the only two I know for sure. Kind of still need to listen to this whole album. As when I first got it, I kind of just skimmed through it without really memorizing songs I didn't know. But TLC is a kind of R&B band. I think I like their, I think I kind of like their music a little bit more than Destiny's Child. Also, the case itself is holographic. I don't know if I can get it to. The only thing that's really holographic is the their name and the fan panel down here moves a bit. It's kind of hard to see, especially since my computer. And I know, kind of hard to see uh, CDs even in there. <laughs> But a lot of these music CDs used to have these things you could fill out to join their fan club to get. I don't know, I never really joined a fan club. But I'm sure you got sent some stuff. Thank you for joining me on this edition of What's in the Vault. Have a great day, great night, sleep well, and great dreams. Thank you for watching.